Hello everyone, this is Gali and this is another episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. This time we're going to start a new little series called, um, well, fan art drawing. We're going to draw different dragon characters that you've seen probably somewhere along your life. This one is called Haku. He is probably one of my favorite dragon characters in all time because he is so noble and really sweet and helpful. If you haven't seen the movie, he's from Spirited Away, from Hayao Miyazaki. He's a Japanese animator, my favorite one, and I truly admire his characters and everything he creates. So, this character is one of the best, I think, in my opinion. He turns into a boy, he's a spirit of a river, and, well, he's just beautiful. He looks like a wolf with chicken legs, and I'm sorry about this horrible chicken leg, but what could I do? This is reference. Reference time, yay! So, to start drawing anything, any fun art, any character, anything you want, I would recommend for you to search references that have anything to do with your character. They don't have to be your pictures, but oh, it would be great if you could take your own pictures, but you can reference, the internet is there for you. So here we have Haku, the character. You can grab many different um, pictures, um, different sides of your character, his profile, different ideas for poses, I don't know. Like you can see he's like a snake with the face of a wolf and chicken legs. So you can take that, that as an inspiration and then Google chicken legs, antelope horns and a wolf, right? So that's what I did. You don't have to do the same thing, but I would recommend for you to do that because it's really helpful. So we're going to analyze our references first. Um, I do it mostly when I don't know what I'm drawing or is a new thing, but I will do this for you guys so you can see like my process for a while. So for example, to the wolf, I try to draw on a different layer so I don't have to draw on top of it the shapes of the head as, I, as I've done in the other videos. Try to see the position of the eyes and the nose and how long this is. Haku has a longer face so to make him you probably have to do this instead of the shorter face of that wolf. And his ears are also something like this. The difference is that he has them looking this way. So you can analyze your reference, right? See how a wolf has his mouth here and not here. That would also help. And for the antelopes, you can see where the horns are in their head, on their head, like here, instead of here. So try to figure out why things look the way they do. For chicken legs, try to simplify everything. Like there's really no wrong way of simplifying things, just try to grab an idea. Even try to draw on top of your character reference. For example, the chest, and his long body, and his legs, his knees, and, you know. Try to draw, well his arms go like this, they go like this. Right. Yeah, you get what I'm doing, right? So try to copy that for yourself in your own references and have fun with your drawings and don't be afraid to reference anything. So now that we have a reference we can probably start with our drawing. I already did a little haku sketch over here. If I could find it, here it is. So this was just like a quick idea of his head. You can start with a big brush, a small brush, however you want. I'm looking at references of him at the moment, in case you don't see where I'm copying him from. I mostly don't want to copy him as is from the picture because it will look too much like the picture and not my own style. But you can see what I'm trying to do with him, is just like trying to figure out his overall shape and the way his horns look, like this. So that's not just his head. And let me see if I can find a better picture of him so you can see why he is like that. You can also Google him, his name is Haku, it's really simple. 
very very simple name his complete name is more complicated than that but you can see where I'm taking him from right so he has his whiskers here his horns look a little taller in this picture and that's fine we're making our own rowing so don't be afraid do not row it exactly as it is so now we're going to grab different ideas for poses. What do I do when I start to draw a fan art? Well, what I do is try to grab the simple shape of the animal and make a pose out of him. So now you see he has his head, this is his chest, and then his little arms will be here. And then his body continues, and then he has his legs and his tail. So that's just a simplified um, version of a pose and then you start thinking that that doesn't even look like a normal dragon but it's okay we're just grabbing ideas try to make your brush smaller if you wish to get more fine details we're not going to make a finished drawing we're just going to grab what we have and draw him as we can remember to play with poses. Try to figure out the personality of your character so you can give him a better idea. For example, Haku sometimes looks angry, but he's not really angry, he's just fighting paper dolls that chase him around and hurt him, so he's defensive, right? In this picture you can see perfectly what I'm talking about. He has his angry face and he's bleeding, so he's kind of like snarling like a wolf, you know, with his lips all the way up and he's gorgeous. He's based on a dog because they had to bring a dog to the studio to figure out how his his snout should look like. So see, they even referenced. That means you can reference as well. Hmm? They had to bring a real life animal but you can do it with the internet as well if you don't have a dog. So in this case I just want to make a pose for him that looks regal because that's how he looks to me. He's so elegant and I think he's a boy, he's just a kid, so in the way he's, he's young, he's young, he's a young dragon, he's an apprentice of a witch, so in this case, well he's, he's naive in some ways and very clever in others and he's friendly and nice and he likes to help Chihiro, who is the main character. So I think I'm going to stay with this pose, so what do we do, we just select it. If you're not in Photoshop or anything, don't worry about that. Just select that thing, copy it anywhere else, or make a doodle out of your post in your sketch pad or whatever, and try to put a non-onion skin paper over it, and then just draw a different. Finish it. I don't know. Try to make a different sketch. So what I do here is I just lower the opacity, which with the onion skin it works almost the same way. And then I'll grab a different color or something like that, maybe a different brush, and start making a, a drawing over it. So we have Haku's head and his snout based on our wolf drawing and see that he has a different color here. His eyes don't look like a wolf's at all, they are longer. A wolf's is rounder. I think you can have your artistic freedom and make the eyes look like a wolf's. And that's fine. I try not to go into so much detail at the moment. I do that all the time, I always go into detail. Uh, in the sketch, which is probably why it takes so long. And they look a little like blurry right now. As you can see, he has long plates on his belly, like a snake's. And I find super adorable that the color is like a rose pink. I don't like pink, but with him it looks so cute. I don't know, he's a beautiful dragon. So of course this is my sketch and it doesn't have to look exactly like whatever you want to do because you can have any pose you want for your character. So this time we're doing his arms and remember the chicken legs we, we copied? 
but you can study them much better. Remember we simplified it to three little fingers. Oh, well, you can do exactly that. And try to simplify that in your own drawing. He was like chicken legs, that, that's so funny. And a dragon. And that's what they are, it's like a mix of different animals. So it's it's fair enough that he has chicken legs. If you have mistakes in anatomy in this part of your drawing, don't even worry. Because that's what sketches are for. So you can correct anything. So he has this big flowy mane around his body. the color of his mane as well. I think the design on this character is one of the best dragon designs I've seen. And not because I love him, but because it's truly an adorable and very, very interesting design. So here we have like a basic sketch. It's a little detailed, because I want to see the pose well. So you can see he's standing on his legs. And the belly ends here, and his legs. He looks funny, but he's like a floaty snake thing. He floats in the sky, so I'm not that far off. You can see, he's flying. Mm -hmm. So he has that kind of flowiness to him. He's gorgeous. And now we're looking at his whiskers, which would probably just be little stems for now. The other one will stem from here and then just follow the other one. You can make it go down as well. Try not to go too overboard like this because it would look ridiculous and it will confuse people as to what your design should be. Now we can probably talk about composition in your drawing. And I'm going to do it like this. Wait a second. Can you see the lines? Well. If you see, there's like two lines vertical, two lines horizontal, where the lines cross in the little dots is where people will look at in your drawing. That's a composition. So first here you can see we're going to look at first at his head, his neck, go down to his arms, then to his legs. Because we start from the left, finish in the right. So his whiskers start the last thing you see. Now based on this composition idea, you can probably have his whiskers point back to him, like this, like they can point back to him. So this way I'm going to draw something on top of it, so you get what I'm trying to say. So the eye starts here, oh no, it's pink, well it's magenta, whatever. It goes down, then finishes here, or usually it goes like this, then like this, and you know, so on. This could work both ways in this composition because you start here with the little head. You can you can start here. It goes here. And it will probably point you back to him, in that case with the whisker. And then you will look down and you will look at his arms, which will point you to his legs, and again and again and again and again. That's composition. I don't know if I'm being clear with this, but I think it's quite straightforward. Like, whenever, wherever the lines cross, so let me try again. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is funny. Ignore that line. Or whatever. Imagine this is our composition. And I hope I'm not drawing on top of my... No, okay. This is where the lines cross. This is what the eyes are going to see. So you start seeing here. Here, here, and here. These are your important points. So your character were to be in a very different place. I don't know, like this. You will. This is okay as well. You you could see this neck here and here, but it would probably look good as like this as well. You will lose the legs, or well, if you do this, for example, your main point will be the legs, or like this. Like that's not a good composition because you won't look right at it. So the best composition is to try to figure out how to resize either the, the background or your character to fit the composition. That's just advice. And I just went off topic 
but that's okay. We're going to make more videos about that soon enough. So now we have a little haku here. And that has been all because now I'm just gonna make quick sketches of them. So we can make many many characters and the videos don't last a super 40 minutes yet because my internet sucks. I cannot post many videos at a time. But well that's had that has been it, I think, for today's video. This has been Haku. And this is the first um, drawing a character video. Of course it will get better and better the more we go on. This was just an idea with a funny pose. You can grab any other pose you want and draw your character. And if you want, just try it, really. Even if the first one comes out looking terrible, in your opinion, you have to go through that terrible one to make other better things. So if you like this video, please subscribe and there will be more to come each week. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.